Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 15 of Off the Board with Pineapple Paper. So we're halfway there, day 15, and I'm still having fun and I hope you are still having fun and getting plenty, plenty of inspiration. Tell me, we're halfway through. Have you used your pens? Have you gone on those boards and have you got a project done? Uh, based on one of those pins. Let me know in the comments down below. As every day, everybody who is playing along today will be linked down below. Um, of course, Crystal and Kathy and Meggie and myself are playing every day. And then many of our friends are joining in when they can, some every second day. Uh, I know Christy does uh, three times a week. I think Christina does twice. So, so many uh, of our lovely friends playing along when they can. So, you have plenty and lots of fun inspiration going on for the month of July. So, today I'm cheating just a little bit. This is the layout that I'm scrap lifting. And in fact, it was the challenge, the last team challenge for the Secret Not Secret Kick Club party in June. And this was our version, a smaller version, of course, of the telephone game or the Chinese whisper game where we were five in the team and we did the telephone game. And Anne-Marie Rutella sent me this lovely layout. And on that day, on my desk was an actual pin that I wanted to play with. So I'm still using it, but in fact, I really only took this pin as the color inspiration. So you're going to see it come back, but I still used it as a color uh, inspiration. And then of course I did my version of this. So I'm still, I'm still counting it. It's my off the board, so that's what I'm doing. So there you go. So this is what I came up with. If you look, it was a lovely, take on a grid design. My original idea was to turn it on its side, uh, but I really wanted to use two photos. And my photos were square and I couldn't get the placement right. I mean, although I guess this would work, but I wanted this this way. Of course, this is landscape as opposed to, to portrait. So I didn't like it. So I just went back to the original. And I said, there you go. Let's do our version of it and I stayed fairly close maybe a little less embellished up here but uh, I added a little bit of a cluster here um, I don't have the trim but I sort of combined the trim and this little cluster down here at the bottom and moved my cluster over so that I can do a little bit of journaling here if I want I have not done the journaling yet so this of course is using my June uh, Secret Not Secret kit based on Fifth at Monaco. I went in and I used some of the cut aparts as well. So I used this gorgeous wood grain as the background and I got that idea from this pin. Now, if you remember when I did my kit chair, this is the other side of that. But for some reason, I got so, so, so lucky. Christina sent me two of these, so I still have one sheet of this gorgeous paper. I could use 10 of these. Honestly, I could use 10. I went into my stash, and uh, I just got some cardstock so that I could map my photos. This is another lovely paper from the kit, so I just sort of did this rectangular box down here. And then... I matted the photo, but then when I used this, I think the cardstock is called cinnamon. When I put my photos down flat to the page or even mounted on foam, it, it sort of just melted into the background a little too much. So I just went to get a little piece of very vanilla, which I just tucked in here. It's not a full mat uh, behind just where it will be on the pattern paper. So those were the first, if you got my rectangular piece, the two photos. So I had the basis and then I decided I was going to do this type of little cluster or embellishment down here at the bottom. This is a strip 
uh, from one of the pieces of paper. If you recall, I used this paper on uh, my pin, I think, was it on, Mon not this Monday, but last Monday. And so I had a little bit of a strip here, which I put down here, a little bit of that strip left over, which I cut down even just a little bit. This is three quarters of an inch. This is half an inch. I put the rest of it up here. This is from the sticker sheet. And again, I had a little bit left over, so I put it up there so I could basically have a little bit of a repeat of that cluster, a rainbow, a rainbow, a butterfly from the sticker sheet and a butterfly from the puffy sticker sheet. Three little hearts, and that's all that take that takes care of this um, cluster down here. Then once in a lifetime was just a perfect cut apart sheet to be using right here for the larger. So my things are in different places, but I definitely have the items. I love that Anne-Marie had, I've got all the feels. This is a fun card here. So I decided to replicate that with this card up here. I did cut it down a little bit because in its original four by six, it just took up too much real estate. Added two little puffy hearts here. Took another bit of the cut, the cut apart, which is more of a frame. Or was this, no, this was from the die cuts, the die cut pack. Little bird, the little parakeet here, just overlooking more for the color than anything else so that I would have that lovely green repeated and the lime in more than that. So the lime would be in three spots. A couple of little hearts. And then this little window just gave me the perfect area to go in and get my gold happy life little letters for Sion. I was in Sion, Switzerland in 2006. And of course, that was my backpacking one year sabbatical trip. And of course, it was once in a lifetime. So the team challenges that we had during the Secret Not Secret Kid Club Party were so much fun. I had the most awesome team. And if you are a member of the club, you have already seen this because it was posted in the album. And we posted all five of our layouts. Uh, so you will have had the sneak peek and you would have seen it, but without, of course, the explanations because I did not post it on the main board. We just did a group post because I did want to use it here as well. So that is my day 15. Make sure you pop on down and see everybody else's gorgeous layouts today. And again, let me know. Have you been using your pins? Is there a type of pin that you would like to see me use in particular during the latter part of the month. See you tomorrow. Bye.